All right, man. Josh McDaniels, uh, head coach of the Oakland Raiders, got fired. You know, while y'all was possibly sleeping on the West Coast, they were still thugging. It was about what, uh, 11, about 11 o'clock over that way. So he got fired about 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so, and also, they fired his homeboy, Dave Ziegler, the GM as well, too. They did a pathetic job with the Raiders. Um, the defense was good. You know, that was a problem for the, uh, that was a problem for the Raiders, especially when uh, Derek Carr was there. They had defensive uh, issues, defensive lapses and stuff of that nature. Um, and that year, this year seemed to kind of be shored up at Mac, Mar Marcus Peters, and they seemed to be better defensively. But as we know, Josh McDaniels' expertise is what? His offense and offense slid. He got rid of Derek Carr, basically told Derek Carr to go home. We're going to pay you to go away. Let him go to New Orleans. And Jimmy Garoppolo, he just wasn't it. He just wasn't that guy this year. Had back injuries, came in injured. Um, you got to remember, too, Bill Belichick wanted him to take over for Tom Brady. And, you know, Robert Kraft chose to keep Tom Brady, you know, which Belichick ain't did nothing since. And, you know, before this happened, I was thinking about the other day, man, before they even played the Detroit Lions. Um, check out my Detroit channel. I did a reaction play, a reaction video to the game, Motor City Sports Talk, the links in the link tree and in the description. Um, but, um, but yeah, I did a reaction video, but nonetheless, I was thinking about it before they played that game, man. And um, one of the things that I was saying is like Bill Belichick got one of the worst coaching trees in in, in sports history. You know, you look at the Pat Riley tree, you could look at the Bill Parcells tree. I mean, you could look at whoever tree you want to look at, Phil Jackson tree, Greg Popovich tree. I mean, this dude tree is, is, is horrendous. Once you start talking about you know, Romeo Cornell, who was a good defensive coordinator, won not as a coach. Charlie Weiss wasn't itch as a coach. Josh McDaniel wasn't itch as a coach. Matt Patricia wasn't itch as a coach. Um, the dude that just coached the Giants a couple years ago, uh, Joe Judge, he wasn't itch as a coach. Um, so you go on and on and on. And, you know, they had, you know, he had some of the worst coaching tree. And Josh McDaniels, remember, they wanted to give him the job to be a uh, – they wanted to get him the job to be a. They wanted him to get a job to be uh the coach, and then remember he accepted it and then pulled back at the last minute, and um. And you know they, you know at the end of the day, Colts say they self the trouble. You know the Colts say they self the trouble. Um. So. But, you know, Raiders fired Josh McDaniels, GM Dave Ziegler. Says he lost, wrote by uh, Paul Gutierrez, ESPN staff writer. Las Vegas Raiders fired coach Josh McDaniels, general manager Dave Ziegler. The team announced Tuesday night. It says, a quote, after much thought about the Raiders need to move forward, I've decided to part ways with Josh and Dave owner Mark Davis said in a statement. I want to thank them both for their hard work and wish them and their families nothing but the best. Reached by phone and asked to elaborate on the reason for firing. They were told ESPN no comment at the time. I mean, do you really need a, a reason? The Raiders named linebacker coach Antonio Pierce as the interim head coach. The team also said current assistant general manager Champ Kelly will serve as the interim GM and in announcing those promotions. The organization said it's committed to ongoing a comprehensive search for a head coach and general manager once the season is complete. Davis will not say who would take the offensive play call duties as that was McDaniel's job. Phone calls to Mac to McDaniels and Ziegler were not returned. The move coming Monday after the Raiders lost 26 to 14 in Detroit on Monday night. Las Vegas second consecutive defeat and the team's offense could not get not could not could get not get no traction. The defeat dropped the Raiders to three and five. You know, his team's just worse than that, by the way. Uh, but they lost to like an undrafted quarterback in Chicago and got popped. McDaniels and Ziegler both hired. January 2022 inherited a 10 or 7 team that made an unexpected run to the playoffs during the 2021 season. Just the organization's second postseason bid since 2002 under coach Rich Bashotti and GM Mike Mayock, who took over following in season resignation to coach John Gruden. Davis said the time for McDaniels and Ziegler were, uh, were expected to take the team to the next step in the evolution. In this evolution, instead, the Raiders win and combine 9 and 16 without a playoff appearance under the new regime. McDaniels did not last two full seasons in his previous stop as head coach either. 
going in a combined 11 and 17 in the Denver Broncos in 09 and 2010. Davis was enamored with McDaniel's offensive system and the pedigree as a longtime offensive coordinator of the New England Patriots, with whom he won six Super Bowl rings. But the offensive success did not translate to Las Vegas, and the Raiders suffered some of the most embarrassing defeats in franchise history under McDaniel, Daniels, and Zeger duo. That included blowing a 20 0 halftime lead against the Arizona Cardinals for the biggest collapse in franchise history, losing the Indianapolis coach first game with Jeff Satter's interim head coach after he had never coached above the high school level, blowing a double-digit lead to Baker Mayfield and Los Angeles Rams two days after Mayfield joined the team and getting shut uh, and getting it shut out by New Orleans Saints when starting offense failed to cross the 50-yard line. Two weeks ago, Las Vegas lost 32 to Chicago and undrafted rookie Division II quarterback Tyson Begint in his first career start. The Raiders this season moved on from nine-year starter Derek Carr, who was benched and inactive in the final two weeks of 2022. In March, signed the often injured Jimmy Garoppolo, McDaniel's former pupil in New England, to a three-year, $72.75 million free agent contract. Shortly after resign signing with the Las Vegas, Garoppolo underwent foot left foot surgery. The cost of the miss entirely the Raiders offseason on the field program and be on the pitch count and training camp. Garoppolo missed two and a half games this season due to concussions and back injury and least NFL interceptions with nine. He is coming off one of the worst statistical games of his career in Detroit. So we know about all that. Um, Devontae not happy. A lot of guys not happy. Um, but, you know, one thing about New England, you know, they're New England coaches. They seem not to have any social skills. You know what I'm saying? They, they they seem not to be the leader of men. They know football. They can lead a, a half the off, half the team or some of the team because you got special teams too with some of those players overlap. But, yeah, they seem, you know, you know, they seem not to just have have social team, social skills. Literally, you know, they seem not to be able to connect. And same thing with Bill Belichick. He don't seem to have the best social skills. I mean, he come from a different era. He come from a different era. Uh, our, pa- our Patriot shit don't, that Patriot way shit don't work. Excuse my language. And McDaniel seemed not to have no no good social skills neither and, not, and, and seem not to be a great leader of men. And that seems to be, you know, uh, that seems to be a growing trend. Uh, That seems to be a growing trend. That seems to be a growing trend. So, hey, it is what it is. Check out the NFL playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Check out my new channel, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 89. That link's in the link tree in the description. Check out my Detroit channel, Marcy Sports Talk. That's in the link tree in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Check out the NFL playlist for more videos like this. Peace.